Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, Hugh Talks. And today we are talking about billionaire Elon Musk who bans safety gear because he hates bright colors. We have more details. Let's get started. SpaceX employees claim that founder Elon Musk takes a lax approach to safety and has even discouraged the use of yellow colored safety gear, citing his aversion to bright colors. Three former supervisors at SpaceX explained how Musk even had machines painted in industrial safety yellow and repainted black or blue based on his aesthetic preferences. Some workers also reportedly were instructed not to wear yellow safety vests when Musk was present. Managers also sometimes told employees to replace yellow security tape with red. And investigation by Reuters revealed that SpaceX had at least 600 unreported employee injuries since 2014, including eight incidents that led to amputation. Elon Musk has himself dis, uh, discouraged employees from wearing yellow-colored safety gear. Musk himself sometimes seemed cavalier about safety during visits to SpaceX sites, with four employees saying that he sometimes played with a new flamethrower. For years, Musk and his deputies found it hilarious to wave the flamethrower, fire, fire it near other people, and giggle like they were in high school. Musk tweeted in 2018 that the flamethrower is guaranteed to live up any party. At SpaceX, Musk played with the device in small office environments and uh, said the engineer, who at one point feared that Musk might set someone's hair on fire. Last year, an open letter from some, uh, some SpaceX employees criticized Musk's behavior as a source of distraction and shame. Musk is known for running his companies with a high degree of intensity, occasionally implementing work sprints and reportedly sleeping on Tesla's factory floor. During an incident at Musk's SpaceX facility in McGregor, Texas, Lonnie LeBlanc and his colleagues realized that they had a problem. They had to transport foam insulation to the rocket company's main hangar but had no straps to secure the payload. LeBlanc was a relatively new employee. He offered a solution to hold the load and he sat on it. After the truck drove away, a gust of wind blew and LeBlanc and the insulation you know, went off the trailer by the wind, causing him to hit his head on the payload. LeBlanc was 38 at the time and had retired from U.S. Marine Corps nine months earlier. He was pronounced dead at the scene from head trauma. Federal investigators from U.S. Occupational Safety and Health Administration later determined that Space Act had failed to protect LeBlanc from obvious danger, noting the seriousness uh, and seriousness of the violation. LeBlanc's colleagues told that SpaceX did not have easy access to fasteners and had no process or oversight for handling such payloads. So many of these 600 documented injuries over the past nine years were serious or disabling. So all machines were painted safety yellow, such as G power plant were painted blue or black at safe, uh, SpaceX. So these cases also include five burns, five electrocutions, eight accidents resulting in amputation, 12 injuries involving multiple unspecified body parts and seven workers with eye injuries. Others were relatively minor, including more than 170 reports of strains or sprains. The more uh, than 600 uh, SpaceX injuries represent only a portion of the total number of cases. So that's all we have in today's video. Mm, please continue to watch this space for more informative news. Thanks for watching us. You have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.